Hi, my name is Jill Graysons, and I'm the supervisor for the Live Materials Lab here at Wards in Rochester, New York. And we have here Millie. She's a giant African millipede, or Archispira streptus gigas, as she's known in Latin. She's from the East African country of Tanzania, and she's been collected from abundant populations in the region. Wards is the only distributor of these that has been authorized and approved by the United States Department of Agriculture to collect them, to import them, and to distribute them in accordance with their regulations. We currently have permits on file for most of the continental U.S. and Alaska. So if you're thinking about getting one of these for your classroom, there's an excellent chance that we'll have the permits needed in order to ship you one pretty much right away. If you're thinking, what on earth would I do with this? How would I keep this alive? They're actually really simple to keep alive in captivity. They are amazingly self-reliant. They're called detritivores, which means they eat decaying wood, uh, decaying leaves, a lot of decaying vegetation. So really all you need to keep them alive is some good soil, some organic vegetables, maybe a little dog food, believe it or not, and some wood for them to climb under. Mist the cage occasionally, every day or so. Keep it in a nice warm temperature, maybe 70 degrees, and they're good to go. They last beautifully over long weekends, so you don't have to take them home every time you want to go home for a long three-day or four-day weekend. They do beautifully. Um, in terms of what you could do with this in terms of a lesson, there's lots of things. Even if you watch it move, you can see how its legs move. So you can even get your kids to think about how do they coordinate their legs? How does such a long critter move from place to place. It's really a unique kind of movement that you see there with their leg movement anyway. Um, but there's plenty of things. How many legs does a millipede have? That's one of the questions we get all the time and it's really variable. So the question becomes, maybe it's a math exercise. Count the number of segments. You already, we already know how many segments, how many legs there are per segment. There's your math exercise right there. Or maybe it's measurement, teaching little guys how to use rulers. Great example for that. They do a lot to sort of just engage kids, especially kids that are maybe shyer or kids that aren't the ones that shoot their hands up in the classroom, the ones that don't necessarily engage. These guys really tend to draw them out just because kids are naturally inquisitive, so they ask questions. So they do a lot in your classrooms. They're a super pet, really good to get kids in, involved in just in husbandry, understanding responsibility, all of those things, use them as a reward for kids to, as they behave, maybe they get to take care of your millipede. Um, live lab, aside from the millipede, we, or, we have a ton of other specimens, not just millipedes. We go viruses, bacteria, insects, crickets, we've got amphibians, lots of things, all of which are wonderful tools for engaging your students. So check us out on wardsci.com backslash live materials.